Complete Dominance Part 3. So what cross of which mom and which dad have we not looked at yet? Oh, come on, you guys know the answer. It's the heterozygous mom and the heterozygous dad. So let's take a look at that, shall we? Here we go. There's mom, there's dad. Let's put mom up here on top for a change of pace. Dad over here on the side. And again, fill out the stupid square to look at the probabilities of what the possible offspring could be. Again, if mom is heterozygous, that means one allele is dominant. Floppy ears. One allele is recessive, right? One chromosome has a dominant allele she got maybe from her mom. The other chromosome has the recessive allele. Must have gotten that from dad. Same with dad. So both are heterozygous. They both have a dominant allele for floppy and a recessive allele for attached, for earlobe shape, if that was our example. Here we go. Let's fill out our handy dandy little bunnet square. And whoa, what do we see popping out? Hmm? Hmm? One out of one, two, three, four. Big D, big D. One, two out of one, two, three, four. Big D, little d, heterozygous. Homozygous dominant. Heterozygous. What is two out of four? Come on, come on. There we go. Lowest common denominator. Half. You guys know that's silly. And then one out of one, two, three, four. Ah, one out of four. Homozygous recessive. Those are the probabilities from Heterozygous mom and heterozygous dad, the probability of an offspring have it, having the homozygous recessive genotype is one-fourth. The dominant homozy homozygous dominant is one-fourth. Being heterozygous, just like mom and dad, half the offspring should be like that. So there you have it. Again, who's on top? Doesn't matter. Very last one that we haven't done. Homozygous recessive, homozygous recessive. And this one's the same outcome as you can imagine if it's homozygous dominant, homozygous dominant. Right? You're going to just do your Punnett square. Do your. Oh, look! Four out of four! Our little d, little d. How did that happen? I don't know. Both of mom's alleles are little d, little d. Both of dad's alleles are little d, little d. Right? That's all the gonads can give up. Sperm that are little d, little d, right? We could, ooh, that's a sperm. Ooh, that's a sperm. An egg that's a little d. An egg that's a little d. This is fertilization, people. This is the zygote. This is the zygote. This is the zygote. This is the zygote. All the possible zygotes from an interaction of hmm and hmm. That's all the Punnett square is looking at, the possible zygotes, the possible offspring. If all you have to give up is a little d, all your eggs are going to be little d. All you have a, to give up is a little d, all your sperm are going to be little d. And then guess what? All your stupid zygotes are going to be little d, little d also. And that's it. That's all there is to it.